Greetings and welcome to Let's Play Cold Fire Keep. Let's carry on. With me rambling about RPGs and fun and whatever. Uh, there was one. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was like, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, the cooldown. There was one. Did I make a choice yet? West. Okay. I love it that it always tells me to do that, even though there's just a bed in these rooms. Do I really have to... Uh, fish one more time? Oh, there was one uh, uh, one survival game I played recently. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, I like, you, you all know, I like stuff like The Forest. I like stuff like uh, Terraria. Recently I've been playing, let me check, Kepler's. And there was another game that I think I got for free on a video game magazine. Um, I forgot the name, doesn't matter. Maze plus one. Yeah, nobody needs a maze plus one. Why is there no load option in the normal menu? Anyways. Um, <clears throat> and that game made me really angry because... Uh, yeah, you have to do this. Uh, because I hate it when you have like, oh yeah, you, you need a constant source of food, which is fine. It's a survival game, of course you need food. Well, you know, if, 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 if it's part of the gameplay loop that you need food in order to survive, that's okay, you know? Um, but you killed a boar and you got one piece of meat. So in order to survive, you needed to kill like three boars per day or something. And I was like, yeah, that's... No. <laughs> no. Make it some... This with these crappy rewards. Um, make, make, make it something like boars are hard to kill, but they feed you for three, four days or something. You know, like like real boars would do. <laughs> I don't know. I never killed a whole pig, but I'm pretty sure they can they can feed you longer than. Quarter of a day. Halbert plus one. That looks at least interesting. Uh, Halbert. We have uh, one to twelve. It's the same, but twice the weight. Wow. Wow. That's... Maybe I shouldn't have used the gold key here at all. Let's rest. Maybe that opens up something like the last time. I don't know. Up. Oh. Didn't do anything. So yeah, that, that game annoyed me because it was just like, yeah, you have to grind a lot. To, that's, the, that's the balance you have to find with uh, survival games. Of course, you have a lot of grinding and keeping, uh, and keeping your resources and stuff like that. But it should also be, there should also be progress. And I felt like you had a really, really slow progress. And I don't know. You you could you, if if you can kill the same enemy, but, but no, not the same, but weaker enemies and get the same reward than a big enemy. And yeah, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. And I don't know. I just need to talk about anything because this game is not really giving me any. I should have really tried out. Let, let's do this. Let's do this before I. Uh, move further down. I want to fall down where that guy apparently threw in the cold fire. Oh wait, no, you can't fall down in pits. You can't fall down in pits in this game. Okay, let's not try it. Waste of time. 
Okay, let's carry on. 8A, only a few more levels. For, what was it? 14, 15? Teleport to 2A. Uh, we don't need that dwarf. We are not really going to use one hand and shield, so fuck that. Uh, you have this. You don't need that. I uh, already dropped his weapon. You have Iron Shield plus one. Drop. Longbow, 1 to 8, 1 to 6, drop, we can keep the longbow, mace plus warden, wonderful. Hate A. Yeah, so other games are all about exploration, and exploration should be fun and rewarding, and not like, oh yeah, you fought a, a hazard to kill enemy, oh yeah, it's the same as everything else. Uh, yeah, okay, no, 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 no. no. Ah, uh, Kepler's is quite fun, a little bit also on the slower, slowish side, but I do enjoy the combat there, that's at least something. Oh yeah. What else? Yeah, well, well, we are fighting spiders and rats again. So far we had five enemy types in eight levels. Ah. Uh. Maybe, maybe I should make my own uh, scoring system. Enemy variety would be something. Combat fluidity. Or how interesting combat is. How tight the gameplay feels. So having unnecessary things like food meters if you don't really need them or something. I mean, I could uh, kind of understand it in Dungeon Master, they wanted to make you not waste too much time, but then they implemented the food storage that you could easily get back to all the time. I don't know. I don't know what was the uh, the thought behind the food meter. I guess to just make it more realistic. Hey, I brought the key. It's also something I don't understand. Why people always want, oh yeah, I want more realistic games or something. No, no, if I want realism, I'm already living in a realistic world. <laughs> I want to throw around fireballs and stuff and be uh, answer nine. Okay. Do I have to count now? There's something going on here. Something weird. I don't know if it's because it's a. Uh... Those reds are just annoying speed bumps at this point. Oh, it's uh, this. One, two, three, four, four. Car tube says there's a movable wall nearby. Interesting. Uh, da -da! The Empower Chant, the Restore Chant, the Great Sword Plus One Chant. Born. Agility. Intellect. Vitality. Okay. Uh, what's with your 2 to 12, 1 to 12? So this is. Just better. We can drop this one. <laughs> There's a weapon upgrade. Wonderful. Three, two, one. So, four, three, two. The party gained 240 experience points. You could count to f nine. Wonderful.
It's a gold door, I guess. Eight C, okay. <clears throat> Let's see, what do we have? We have Restore. I don't know if this is... Empower. A plus one hit bonus for three turns. Ooh. Okay, Restore is a stronger heal. Interesting. Poison. Stun. Resisted, resisted. <laughs> well, I can increase their hit points and decrease their AC now. Can you die? Thank you. Do I get attacked from behind? No, I can't get attacked from behind. Oh, I can't turn around because this game is like it like it is. Poison. Empower. Expose. Hitting stuff. Resistance is also a thing I really don't like. I don't know, maybe... maybe it's, it, I, I don't know, I, I just don't like it when there's too much chance. I like a more, I wouldn't say streamlined, but I like it more... Like, for example, I really, 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 really disliked... Um, the combat system in Wizardry 6 and 7. I don't know if they had it in 8, but people who played it uh, may know. Like... Uh, this, this, you have to hit an enemy. So you, you're trying to hit an enemy. You first have to actually hit the enemy. And then you have to uh, penetrate the armor. You know, so you have two randomizations going on that in turn turn out that you do no damage. No damage at all. It's not like you are hitting the armor and you do reduced damage because it didn't penetrate it. No, 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 no. You do no damage. You can try it again in 15 turns. What? 40... You really want me to sit here and wait now? Oh, then just make it not pickable. Oh. Mm. Oh, well, we have to wait anyways for her mana to regain, so and we can still have to heal him. You know, I, I can understand this armor thing if you could um if you could target specific areas of an enemy where you are like yeah okay um he has really big chest armor but the chest is quite easy to hit so you could say okay i i attack the the armored area so i can get semi decent guaranteed hits but it does less damage. Or I try to aim for the neck. Wing of intellect. Wow. I'm so glad I waited for that. Um, or I try to aim for the neck, which is a lot harder to hit. But when I hit, I do a lot of damage. Or I go for, I don't know, the arms and try to incapacitate. 
incapacitate him. That's something I was thinking about. If you have, uh, if I implement a quit system, then it's not just, uh, it's not just, 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 it's not Depending on how I feel, <laughs> I haven't thought about this yet to the end. Uh, it gives you a debuff until the end of combat, or it gives you a debuff until you get it somehow fixed. You know that that would be my thing. Like it's not. I ha I have I had to. Uh, I had to um, disable critical hits and pass while I played because it just pissed me off. Like I, I was fighting some guys. I, I don't know if you have played Pathfinder. I would of course play a good person, paladin, and I got a shield, a tower shield warrior, whatever uh, her her class description is. So of course she wants the one with a tower shield, which has a lot of AC. I put her in defense stance, and I know all of this is just so she doesn't get hit that hard, that often, but she still can get hit. And when a troll quitted her, it just erased her from existence, because it did more damage than she had hit points. And I was like, okay, you have a 1 in 20 chance to just erase a character. No, no, no. I think Baldur's Gate had, if you wear a helmet, you're immune to quits. <laughs> I think that's why they implemented that. Because it's a bullshit system. Um, I can understand if you have like a critical hit, you do damage, of course. Um, but it gives you a debuff, like 5% less attack power or something. And interesting, how would we get in there? Let's take a look around and find out. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck. Just have to find another key there. We figured it out. There, that, that, that thing opened up over there. We can go in now. Uh, so interesting. I wonder how we get in there, yeah. Try finding one of the one billion uh, secrets here that are hidden. Um, where was I ranting about? Yeah, critical hits. So it, it can stack up, of course. Maybe if you if you already have a hurt arm and you get critical hit again on the arm, you get an even harsher penalty in, instead of just five. So it's like twenty percent less attack power, or something like that. You know, something that's not too too quest. And you can fiddle around with the. Uh, uh, with the numbers, like how often do you quit, and so on and so forth. You have enemies that can quit more often, maybe, but so they are more like debuffers, uh, you know, stuff like that. Something that makes it fun, fun, fun to tinker or something. I don't know. Another thing I'm not a big fan of is are poisons because poisons are so binary. You know, you have a poison, okay, uh, the next turn my cleric gets, he, they have to, a long staircase ascends here, okay. Uh, the next time my cleric gets a turn, they cast Cure Poison. Nine out of ten times you do that, because poison is just a lot of damage that you have to keep up. Um, I don't know, like I said, it makes it quite binary. If you can remove it, if you can't remove it and it, remo it gets away after a few turns, it makes gives you a little bit of more heat, you know, that you have to take care of <laughs> during combat. But that's something I can get behind, you know, something like that. But if it's just like, yeah, my character got poison, bam, poison gone. Why would I? Why would I bother? I should actually move away and go back to my. Cheese threats. Um, yeah, like I said, can you make it fun? Or having games where you have poisons and diseases. Like, usually it's the same. It, it Okay, ah, okay. Poison usually uh, hurts you while diseases reduce your stats. Except in the Might Magic games. Might Magic games, poison is usually the same. It just. 
you, c you can't rest that well and you have less deaths. Huh. I could see a disease having like a less, um, less, 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 less deaths, of course. But it also has a chance to make it different from a poison. Because at the point, having different debuffs doing different things. Every time you attack or every round or something, there's a chance that you spread the disease. And... I would go so far that you can't remove things like that during combat. After combat, your clerics maybe automatically remove it, but it's it's not something you can just do during combat because, like I said, it just was such a binary. Oh, he got deceased. Yeah, okay, cast pure disease gone. It only gets interesting when more than one person gets deceased, but then you cast deceased the next turn, or you are just like, yeah, fuck it, I can't keep up with it. I guess I just have to deal with it. <laughs> this is also something that may happen. Uh, let's save and go up the stairs and see what's going on there. Oh yeah, we have to also go back and get everything to wet. So we've been at 8. We are at 6 now. Oh, that's the... Uh... Okay, Amulet of Might. I do have to ask why. What's the point? We have the teleporting system. Why, why, why would I use that? I have the teleporting system, so I can just walk up and or teleport to the surface whenever I want. Even though, to be honest, so far I haven't seen a real reason to teleport up there, except to just store my items there, which I could just throw away whenever I feel like. I don't know. There's so many questionable design decisions in this game. I mean, it, it doesn't make it like Horribly bad. I don't want to say it, but it does make it below average. Quite below average. This looks like it can move, but I just have to figure out how. Yeah, I should also not stand in the fire. How about this? Oh, yeah, I can't. I would give this game a 3 out of 10 or something. I don't know. It's definitely below average. It's not horrible. If, if, if I start at horrible games at Dungeons of the Deep, which is definitely a 1, a 0. Uh, let's start with 1 out of 10. I don't want to be a total asshole. Oh, yeah, we have to read this. It's a strange thing. I'm alive, but I'm not myself. Far from it. I awake in the dark and I can see. The blue glow of the cold fire crystal beside me and the pages of my journal scattered about. Was I cast down the very same shaft that I hurled the crystal into? How did I survive? Where's my sword? And where's my flesh? It's the strangest thing. Okay. This is a recent entry, at least much more recent than the previous ones that we found. So he's alive, Janek? How can that be? I have no idea. Could it be a hoax? Perhaps this builder has a what sense of humor. Maybe. The writing is spot on though. Unless all of them were fake, there's no way to know for sure. Let's just move on. Perhaps we will find our answers. So, yeah, Dungeons of the Deep, 1 out of 10. Um, Under cost, definitely 2. This could be a 3. Uh, maybe 2.5. That's, that's making half sense. I could just increase, the, increase it to 100. Or, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't. Do uh, numbers in uh, how I rate my games. Would I, if somebody asks me, hey, I played every uh, dungeon crawler that that's good on Steam. Would you suggest this to me? I would be like, yeah, no. <laughs>
Ah, more combat. Haha. <sighs> oh, I. Oh, it, it was just a chant. Okay. I was like, yeah, I have. Yeah, I was I was waiting on what resistance is. Resistance is just make it less efficient. I hate pure resistances. It's like what what makes this ogre so strong against my shaman spells? Just make it so you can't it, it reduces it only by one AC. Like give me something. Anything except nothing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense that Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, is immune to fire spells. It's still a shitty design, in my opinion, when you have the option of having fire mages. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I didn't uh, play mage during uh, WoW's vanilla time. Oh yeah, uh, the first two uh, raids uh, are against fire monsters, so your most damaging uh, spells, yeah, you can't skill into that. Fuck you. Or uh, I remember I was playing a, uh, a rogue in uh, Burning Crusade and I... I, I I, I, there was this um, uh, skill where you do a lot of damage when the target is poisoned. But oh, too bad! There was one enemy in Karazan that's immune to poison because it's a robot, and another enemy in uh, Serpent Shrine Caverns that was immune to poison because it was a water elemental. Yeah, you just don't do any damage then. <laughs> it's not like you do a little bit less damage. No, no. No damage at all. Oh, well, almost no damage. Like, you did less damage than a tank because your, your abilities don't do anything. I don't know. Good game design, role playing. This whole role playing aspect is. Where's the money down here? How do I get money? I don't know, I don't care. Uh, I got distracted and I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, enemies, resistances and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's Well, yeah, we're playing. Like, people are like, oh yeah, back in vanilla VOV, when, when you had to buy arrows all the time for your hunter and you had to feed your pet and... I don't know, I... I, I I, I was I never really played a hunter to be quite honest, but I was so glad for one of my twins when I didn't have to bother with that anymore. It 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 didn't feel fun that you oh yeah you went out of. I I remember we had some people who were like yeah oh I went out of arrows during a raid and then everyone had to wait. Like they. Were, I can understand if you have a system like, okay, you have um, poison arrows, so you can choose to use poison arrows, or you can choose to use fire arrows, or something like that. Or you just have a normal magic arrow that does normal damage, and I don't know, I, I fun, the fun part. It also bothers me when you need to buy uh, stones in any RPG for your slings. As if there are no stones laying around everywhere. Oh. Or you're in the middle of a forest and your ranger who... who l lives by the bow can't make... 
or doesn't have the tools to make his own arrows. No, you have to buy them from a storekeeper. You know, that this, 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 this binary thing. You can't just say, okay, um, the ranger ran out of store-bought arrows, but he can craft his own who are a little less damaging. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm cra- Maybe I'm the crazy guy here. Maybe I, 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 while trying to entertain you during this oh, boring game, I, I'm just rambling too much. But that's 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 the stuff I'm, I'm thinking about when I think about my game. Do I want to add ammunition? I'm always happy when there's no ammunition in a video game. I don't need ammunition. I don't see the need for this little fiddly busy work. Uh, because usually I I just spend too much money on uh, on arrows. So I have like 500, even though I will never use them. And I don't know. Ela went about video games while playing. Like I have no, I have really no problem with streamlining. So having it can be it, for me. It makes a better experience. It, it doesn't have to be easy. Streamlining doesn't necessarily mean easy, in my opinion. If I don't have to jump through 20 hoops to do things that I could do with one hoop, you know, I, I would be quite happy. Like, I'm, I'm not a big fan of uh, the recent phenomena that games stop putting text in or explanations in their game because, well, the internet exists and we have Wikipedia and... We just hope that someone makes a wiki where we write down everything. Uh, no, no, don't, don't do that. I don't want to traverse wikis while playing a video game. Maybe in the off time or something while I'm doing this. Anyways, enough rambling. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see each other soon. So take care and hit the like button.